Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Fire Speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build and today we are going to build this little tiny chapel slash church and a graveyard attached to it, next to it. And it's gonna be very horror-esque because yes, October is upon us, or pretty soon upon us, and I want to do only horror builds in October because I just love things like this. So without further ado, let's get started. So like I already told you, October is my favorite month because this is the only reason why on YouTube without anyone complaining I can do lots of horror builds since I'm a huge horror fan and in my opinion we don't have enough creepy builds in the Sims community. I mean there are some but yeah let's just face it there aren't enough in my opinion. So uh, this is basically a little tiny church that I built in Glimmerbrook, the new world from the realm of magic and also I thought it would be really cool to only use base game, the realm of magic pack and the vampire pack because I think vampires and realm of magic of course go so well together and we need to try out how you know these two packs all the objects from these two packs kind of correlate and look alike if you put them together and i thought hey why not have a little tiny chapel and graveyard in Glimmer glimmerbrook since it fits the whole, the whole theme and since with the new realm of magic spells you can also revive from tombstones like sims and all that stuff and can like i don't know uh, summon the ghosts and spirits and stuff like this I thought a graveyard should be something that we have and of course a church because for the long-time viewers on my channel they know that the lionfish god is our chosen god it's our lord and savior blessed be his fin and he needed a church and like a chapel for the sins to praise them or pray to him and I thought yeah okay let's just put all these things together for those who are a little bit more into vanilla and not too much into horror you can easily just change all the colors in my opinion it's not that you know too creepy because it's still the sims let's be honest but uh, i wanted to go for a more production design route so some of these things are totally made up in architecture wise this wouldn't be possible i guess in real life like the church is looking right now so i also go with some really whimsical kind of quirky shapes especially the stairs leading up to the church or chapel is very <laughs> special looking since we have the new stairs now um i wanted to experiment with them and kind of see how weirdly shaped i can make them look and i'm actually really happy how they turned out so yeah this is uh, something that i always wanted to try out especially since we only have like we don't have diagonal stairs and yeah I just thought it would be really really fun to experiment a little bit with uh, realistic European architecture and a little bit of uh, you know quirky production design tricks that aren't realistic but are fun to look at and here we go so um the church is the first thing as you can see that I built of course and we use a lot of the new windows from Realm of Magic because they come with painted glass and of course a church needs to have uh, painted glass. I really wanted it to look like a small cathedral almost you know because I live in Cologne we have one of the biggest cathedrals on earth here in this town and I just thought why not go with like a cathedral but in small since the sims well we all know the lot sizes aren't that big so you can't I almost never can realistically portray all these buildings in, and put it into your Sims game because you always have to scale it down and then it doesn't look that right and you have the grid and you know there are so many restrictions that makes it a little bit hard so it was actually kind of fun to go the route with okay let's just go like fantasy makeup made up church chapel kind of thing. But yeah, it is inspired, of course, by some European cathedrals that I've seen here around my town and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I thought uh, it, that's just much easier to have as an inspiration. And I also think it gives this more gothic look, you know, because, yeah. 
It just looks a little bit cooler and more metal and more horror, in my opinion. So I needed to do this. I needed to have this in Glimmerbook. And also I will, for this October, try to only do horror bolts, like I already said. So if you have, um, especially, I thought this month we are going to go with especially from horror movies or movies in general so if you have a horror movie build like it has to be a specific build that is known for this horror movie write it in the comments i myself have wrote down 16 possible builds from 16 horror movies or like let's just say movie franchises or something that could be horror or like at least a little bit creepy or scary or spoopy or something like that and um, then yeah uh, i will try to build some of them some are really hard to do some are a little bit more easier and uh, yeah uh, i'm really looking forward to all that stuff but i'm also of course counting on your ideas so write them down in the comments down below because i really want to see if i at least build something that you guys really want to see in the sims so we have you know we have stuff that you guys want to have in the sims and not only me um here we go with some crypts because i thought we needed some crypts and especially since we have the vampire pack or we use the vampire pack there are of course coffins um where your vampires can sleep in and i thought hey why not have a huge grip uh crypt 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 to um, have your like your vampire have like a coffin in and then they can sleep there for example um, keep in mind that I built this like as a hangout spot I uploaded this as a residential so your sims could technically live there but there's no kitchen since vampires don't eat food and also I think there's no toilet no sex bush was harmed during the making of this build I'm so sorry I really I'm going off brand here no sex bushes what's going on with me but yeah sex bushes are only in the jungle adventure pack and then they get together pack so we couldn't use them and I would really ha be happy if we get some woohoo sex bush pea bushes whatever at least in the base game because these are amazing and yeah here we go with the tombstones we have a lot from the vampire pack they also came with these amazing statues with gargoyles and like we will use the gargoyles and of course the let's just say the girl woman whatever um and then we just place them all around and i thought this is not cutting it like for real i really wanted to have lots and lots of tombstones but i also wanted it to look a little bit more like a movie set you know not realistic so i looked up some horror i put in like horror movie graveyard or cemetery or something like this and there seems to be a trope that whenever there's a ritual performed on a graveyard or a cemetery in horror movies there has to be lots and lots of candles on the gravestones or around the gravestones i don't know why there are always so many candles in horror movies because it takes a freaking long time to light them up but let's just say magic okay it's magic so we will put in tons of candles here everywhere it's gonna be a fire hazard <laughs> but I just thought it looks really cool so we will go with lots and lots of candles and I will use since I only had base game realm of magic and vampires we could only go with the base game um, candles that light up because these are the only ones that are lighting up and then we have some base game um, like group of candles that are not lighting up I think these are in the bathroom section for reasons I don't know and uh, yeah we will kind of clutter them all around and everywhere and it will look absolutely fantastic at night by the way guys this is a perfect hangout spot or like almost a romantic hangout spot for uh vampires or like people who like to go to graveyards by the way in the romantic era it was actually considered to be quite you know not cool and hip i don't know how to explain it but to go and walk around like uh, cemeteries and look at the gravestones and because they're considered parks and you have them in your town like in a big city we also have cemeteries and i from time to time uh walk over them as well because it's actually a really cool park and there are almost no people in there so it's amazing 
and I really enjoy that honestly and also of course you want to pick up the oldest tombstone and stuff and like read the epitaphs and all that stuff it's it's just uh, yeah it's something that I like a lot and it also teaches you a lot about history especially here in Germany because you can really see who died in the first world war and when did the I don't know the wife die and then the kids maybe died in the second world war and you know all that stuff because uh, yeah you can kind of relate to to the ages when they died or when they lived you know it's kind of interesting so somehow for me at least it is maybe it's creepy for other people but I sometimes really like to look at uh, cemeteries and graveyards and uh, yeah it's kind of like a more personal history lesson because you get it attached to real people who have really lived so yeah um, after I've done the crypts uh, we go into the church and the church I really wanted it to look, like I said, like a ca huge cathedral. So, the cathedrals that I know here are made out of stone, of course. And we also have, of course, lots of benches to pray on and to uh, attend mass and stuff like this. Uh, this is something that we don't have in Sims because they don't pray to, you know, like, we don't have religion in the Sims at least not in sims 4 and uh this is why we don't have anything that has like some sitting down maybe a wedding but i thought okay hey maybe why not um try to at least um you know have some benches where they could sit in i don't put in a wedding arch because honestly i hate weddings in the sims <laughs> they are so dumb but if you are into weddings uh, just delete the altar and later you can um put in like a wedding arch instead i needed to have an altar because uh, obvious reasons i guess because we are doing a horror build and this is why but yeah, this is why we, we do this kind of stuff here with the altar and stuff. Lots and lots of columns, for example, to elongate the two floor high hall. And lots of these statues. And later on, we will also put in lots and lots of candles as well. Because I really wanted it to look a little bit more creepy. Like a perfect church hangout spot for vampires or like the, what's it called, untamed magic? In the sims 4 and i just thought it's uh, like a cool maybe like a cult or something of course a lionfish cult but yeah i used lots and lots of the stuff from the vampire pack because honestly they look a little bit more like it suits the whole you know cathedral gothic cathedral kind of uh, vibe and the werewolf wall pieces look like kind of like Jesus on a cross so I had to use them kind of reminds me a little bit of Jesus on a cross so we have them on the upper floor all over the walls as well and they're looking down and blessing our little church goers there I just thought that's like really really cute also there are the huge candelabras from uh, chandeliers not candelabras chandeliers hanging from the vampire pack um, and these are really really cool and very detailed i really like them so we only go with candles all over the place like i think there is no electrical lamp i'm not sure if i use them uh, it could be that the outside exterior lamps that uh, um, kind of light up the church from the outside a little bit uh, are electrical but yeah we wanted to go with like old school so this could also be used in like a medieval kind of fairy tale uh kind of gameplay so i thought this is like kind of you know makes sense oh and then when i actually already did everything i thought usually you have like an organ in the upper floor at least this is how it is here so I put them on a little balcony, but your sims can get to that organ. It's just purely decoration. But I made this on, like, you know, it's on purpose that your sims can get there. I just needed an organ somewhere because it makes sense to have one in the church, of course. And yeah, upstairs in the tower, I will put a cauldron and like a secret kind of potion brewing room with some... Um, with a portal with a magic portal all around so your sims can actually go through the magic portal and go to the hidden room upstairs and brew potions and then of course lots and lots of lionfishes because lionfishes are like i said he's our lord and savior here he is our evil demon god and i love him to bits so i used him here as well 
and I hope you uh, have him as well in the game because he's debug. Uh, he's a debug object, and I didn't want to use so many of them because I'm still not sure if you can have them in your game. Like if you download from the gallery and all that stuff, it's kind of fiddly because some debug objects show up, some don't. And yeah, I really want you to be able to download it from a gallery and use it right away and don't have to do any spooky, I don't know, cheats and stuff like that. So. We go with that here and here is the portal thing so one portal in one corner downstairs next to the uh, Tombstones and one is upstairs. So there's a hidden room for the magic users or something like this And here we go in the video tour like always as a video tour So here we go. You can have a better look at everything. Look how beautiful it looks It just fits into glimmer book like I don't know it fits like a glove <laughs> it fits like a church It's amazing. It looks really cool very detailed. I especially use lots of details again But this is a smaller build so uh, it could run on those pieces PCs and um, yeah those PCs that aren't like the best ones you know graphic wise so try it out guys um, and I really really like how it turned out I especially like how detailed it is I really like the new objects and I must, must say for a builder if you want to do creepy builds use vampire and frame of magic these just are prone to be together okay these are some things you need in your sims game and I, I love it it's a perfect mixture of everything so here we are in some day shots so these are like how it looks like at daytime basically or at dawn and then we will also go here we go with the night shots as well because i really wanted it to you know to show you guys how it looks like at night because it's so cool it's like ah i love it uh, it's especially something that i super like i just love these kinds of builds so much so i'm really looking forward to october if you have any ideas for creepy builds horror movie inspired builds let me know and um please of course be aware that they take a lot of time for me because i'm like working full time and then i do this youtube thing here but this takes like a lot of time to build and then also edit and stuff so if it's like a smaller build it would be i guess more realistic for me to get it done in time and yeah here we are in the church which is my favorite part of everything lots of candles look at how amazing it looks I just love it ah and I really hope you like it too if you do and you want to download this and put it into your game I will put the download link in the video description down below you can just click it and just download from there into your game really really easy and it's of course up on the gallery called church and graveyard if you want to have that one you can also church for it search church for it yeah church for it yeah church for it <laughs> for church and graveyard i guess i called it and here we are with the lionfish god blessed be his fin and uh, yeah it kind of looks really really creepy but also uh, i really love how the interior looks it's very detailed and i really like it it's one of my best churches so far um and yeah that's basically it guys I really really hope you like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are into sims 4 builds as well uh, for those who are suggesting stuff members of this channel get like a plus bonus so I will consider them more to be built and also you guys get a special role on my discord have a special chat with me and you know all that kind of crazy stuff uh, and yeah that's basically it guys thank you so so much for watching if you like this like the video if you don't like this give us a thumbs down and yeah this is basically it thank you so so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye